Welcome everyone. Today we'll be preparing a delicious chilled corn and green curried soup. I'm Chef Patrick and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. All right, let's get started. I've got four ears of corn here that we had shucked and took the silks off of. What we're going to do is try to slice the kernels off of the cobs. You can see how the kernels are just falling off of the cob right in one place. We're going to transfer the cut corn into a bowl. We're going to save about a half a cup of corn. Use that for garnish when the soup is done. There's a lot of flavors left in the cobs. We're going to use these in a soup. And all we want to do is break them in half, reserve them with the corn kernels. We've got a pot that's been heating on medium high. To this, we're going to add some grapeseed oil. I'd peeled in half three shallots. We're going to add those. Got about a tablespoon of ginger paste. That'll go in the pot as well. Four whole cloves of garlic. We're going to stir this, allow this to cook for about two to three minutes. All right, our shallot, garlic, and ginger mixture have been cooking about two to three minutes. We've got some good flavor going on there. We're going to add some green curry paste. We're going to stir that in. We'll let this cook about a minute or so to start releasing the flavor that's locked into that green curry. If you're not familiar with green curry, it's used a lot in Thai cuisine. This is a mixture of green chilies that have been ground along with some lemongrass and lime. But the key to working with this ingredient is really letting it saute in some oil for a little bit to unlock all of those flavors. So that's about a minute. We're going to go ahead and add the corn that we took off the cobs along with the cobs into the pot. We've got some coconut milk. And some vegetable stock. All right, our soup has come to a boil. We're going to go ahead and cover it. We're going to reduce the heat to about medium, and we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes to allow those corn kernels to cook through and get nice and tender. All right, our soup has been simmering for about 15 minutes covered. I'm going to go ahead and extract the corn cobs at this point. Shake them off a little bit, get all that liquid off, make sure that you're leaving the as much corn kernels and shallots behind. Set that aside. We're going to go ahead and blend our soup. Now, I have a high speed blender set up here. What we're going to do is carefully transfer this hot liquid to the blender. Make sure everything gets into the blender very nice. Put the lid on nice and tight and blend this on high for about a minute. All right, now that our soup is blended, we're going to go ahead and strain it. I have a fine mesh strainer set up in a bowl. And what we're going to try to do is push the liquid through the mesh strainer. This step is not necessary, although by taking the corn hulls out, it's going to give us a nice, smooth consistency. Now that we've pushed all the liquid through, we're going to go ahead and season this at this time with a little bit of salt and white pepper. Let's go ahead and put that in the fridge. 
All right, our corn soup has been chilled. It was in the fridge for about an hour. About ready to serve this. What we're gonna do is fill a couple bowls with this chilled soup. So in this bowl, what we're gonna do is add some crispy fried onions. Got a little bit of garlic paste. It's gonna go in. Some fish sauce, gonna give us some umami and a little salt. Fresh chopped cilantro, fresh squeezed lime juice. And remember the corn that we saved from the beginning? That is still raw, we're gonna add that in there and go ahead and give that a stir. You're gonna wanna make this topping just before you're ready to serve it. We want all the flavors to marry well but we want those crispy onions to stay crisp. So we're gonna take a little bit right into the middle of each bowl. To finish it off, just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now my favorite part of the recipe, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. What great flavors. That curry and coconut work really well together. Adding the cilantro, lime, and fish sauce just brings another dimension into this soup. With a few simple ingredients and techniques, it's easy to bring some exotic flavors to your kitchen. And what an incredible way to treat sweet corn when it's in season. Use the link below to see the full recipe and subscribe to our channel to find other Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and more great content from Publix. Thanks for watching.